What up, Falcons? Here back with the Daily Dale after a long awaited two years. Three, four. This is gonna be the best day of my life. My life. This is gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> Tune in every Friday in advisory to watch the Daily Dale. We hope you liked our teaser video, and now on to the fair clips. Back to you. Okay, so we just got a small bag of cotton candy. It's warm, it's fresh. Um, I'd give it about a 9 out of 10. I agree. Okay, I'm Claire Meyer. And I'm Taylor Morgan. And we are going to do a review on our drinks that we got at the fair. So I got a peach boba and it's actually terrible. Uh, I got some lemonade and it's it's really sour. So, yeah, let's rate it. Rate it. Uh, a, a six out of ten. I was gonna say six too, but it was five dollars, so that's not bad. I'm with Miss Bowen, what did you get? Um, I have buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Is it good? It's wonderful. What do you rate it? <laughs> I would rate this at the Ashland County Fair food booths, I would rate this 9.5 out of 10. Okay, do you have any other comments? Mac and cheese is one of my favorite dishes along with buffalo chicken, so you can't get much better than that. Perfect. All right, here we are with Gage's cows. Gage, how did you do with your cows? Um, I got six in showmanship, which not very good, not very happy with it, you know, could do a lot better, you know. Last year I got third, you know, so very bad step down, you know, but we always got next year to look forward to. Yep, have you sold the cow yet? I did, I sold it last night. How much did you sell the cow for? I got um, $3.10 a pound, so around $3,700. I'd say that's pretty good, are you happy with it? Uh, it's not bad, but I paid 2500 bucks for the cow and I probably had 1000 in feed, so I made a little bit of money. Alright, thank you so much Gage, we'll see you later. Yep, we'll see ya. Alright, so what's your name? Jax Rogers. What grade are you in? I'm in 12th grade. And what are you showing here at the Ashton County Fair this year? I got a Marcus Steer and Derry Heifers. What are their names and how'd they do? Boofus and Thing 1 and Thing 2. And I got first and second with thing one and thing two, and six with Boof. Perfect. Anything else that you'd like to say? I'm going to have to go on a run to work off all the fair food I ate. Thank you. We're here with the king of the Ashland County Fair. What's your name? Gabe Murawski. And, okay, I have a couple questions. So how do you feel about being picked to be king? Um, it's really nice. Uh, I think it's a good accomplishment for me. I've been on the court for, this is my third year now. I've been kind of building up to being the king now this year. Sweet. Um, what were the kind of the requirements to be chosen? Um, I filled out an interview and then, or I filled out an application, then I went and did an interview with um, a couple of the judges, and then a select few were picked from the interview process to go and do the competition, which was um, on Sunday afternoon of the fair. Sweet. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what did you guys think about the fair? I thought it was a good time. Well, I was having fun until the cow pooped on, on my shoe, but it was all right. I had fun. I liked looking at all the animals. Well, what was your guys' favorite food you got from the fair? For sure. Trumble. I hate fair food. I, I got some pretty good cotton candy, so. All right. Now we're going to take you to the homecoming announcements. I'll see you there. The homecoming game will be on October 7th. Come out and watch us absolutely annihilate Wayndale, and we'll announce your homecoming court before the game. Homecoming is on October 8th, 7 to 9.30, and it's neon night. Come out and have a great time. We'll have refreshments and snacks and boogie down on the dance floor. Okay, moving on to the sports segment. The student section theme for the homecoming game is pink out. So wear all your pink and show up and be loud for our Hillsdale Falcons. Now I'm going to send you over to the girls for sports. Hi guys, welcome to the fall sports segment. We'll be covering the week of Monday the 19th. Okay, starting with the eSports team, there are eight active members and they compete in Rocket League every Wednesday and Thursday Valorant. Uh, if you are interested in watching the matches, you can watch on the HHS eSports Twitch channel. 
And for soccer, they lost 0-6 to Northwestern on Tuesday. And their next game is Saturday at Chippewa at 12 o'clock. For golf, they had the WCAL tournament on Thursday. Byron Bickle tied for second in the county. And then this past Wednesday, they played for the sectionals. Volleyball on Tuesday lost to Northwestern in three sets, and they also lost to Wayndale in three sets. But compared to last year, they've seen a lot of improvement um, regardless of the outcomes. So good luck next week. Okay, next is football, and the Falcons had a huge upset over Dalton, 27-12. to That night also was Camp Brower night, which had a huge outcome, and it was also middle school band playing with the high school band. Our record is also 3-3 three and three right now, and good luck to our boys this Friday night at Smithville. Next is cross country. Their meets are on Saturday mornings, and many of the runners have gotten their PRs over the season. Next up, we've interviewed all the new staff here at Hillsdale. Our new staff members are Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Zimmerman, and Mr. Kazee. Let's see what they have to say. Where did you go to school? I went to college at Ashland University, and then I got my master's from Regent University. I went to Messiah College in Pennsylvania. I started at Miami of Ohio, and then I finished my undergrad at Wittenberg, and I got my master's at uh, a place called Austin P. State. What made you come to Hillsdale High School? So, right when I graduated college, I accepted a job as the theater advisor, and uh, we did Shrek the Musical that year, and I missed the kids, and I liked the place. It ended up being a great place to apply for, and I'm fortunate to be here. Hillsdale is a pretty good district. What got you interested in music and theater? Oh, uh, it's a hard one. So I've done music since I was 10, and I really liked it. Theater I've done for a really long time. And then when I was in high school, I did a lot of theater, and it was kind of my safe space and the place that I felt the most comfortable. And so I do it a lot now because I still feel safe and comfortable, but I like helping other people feel safe and comfortable too. How do you think students are responding to having a new principal? Oh, I don't know. Going through a feeling each out period, but uh, I think it's going well. Have you spoken Spanish your whole life? And if not, when did you learn to speak Spanish? Uh, I started learning when I was 12, so not quite my whole life, but a while. <laughs> the musical that got me into musicals is Wicked, but my first musical I ever saw was Greece. Have you been to any Spanish-speaking countries? Yes. Where? Um, Spain. Puerto Rico, Mexico, Ecuador, Panama. What's a goal that you have for the school? Well, I got a couple. I think um, making sure that we continue some of the great things that Mr. Baker established, uh, the school without failures. The thing we need to try to do is put COVID behind us as best as possible. What's your opinion on garden gnomes? Garden gnomes. Uh, against because they're a little creepy, and I've seen that movie Gnome Alone, and I, you know, they can't be trusted. What do you think's the best kind of chair? The best kind of chair? A recliner. Which beetle is best? Oh, that's a tough one, too. <laughs> um, they're all individually unique. I probably like Paul's songs more than anyone else, so I'd probably have to pick Paul. Uh, Thanks for watching the first Daily Day of the Year. Stay tuned for next week.